Holding $32 billion in inventory, Walmart's supply chain is often touted as one of the most effective in the world. Practices that Walmart pioneered have been widely adopted by its competitors and other companies, serving entirely different markets. Walmart introduced concepts that are now industry standards. Many of these concepts come directly from the way the company builds and operates its supply chain. Let's look at the most powerful supply chain concepts of Walmart. Before moving to this video, just a humble request to you. If you like this type of content, please do like this video and share this video with your friends. It would indicate to me that I should continue to make these types of videos. Also don't forget to subscribe the channel in order to stay updated with upcoming and interesting case studies. Moreover, I have given some case study link in the description of this video. With that being said let's jump into this video. Expanding around distribution centers is the central way of how Walmart enters a new geographical market. The company looks for areas that can support a group of new stores, not just a single new store. It then builds a new DC at a central location in the area and opens its first store simultaneously. The DC is the supply chain bridgehead into the new territory. It supports the opening of more new stores in the area, at a very low additional cost. Those savings are passed on to the customers. Using EDI with suppliers provides the company two substantial benefits. First of all this cuts the transaction costs associated with the ordering of products and the paying of invoices. Ordering products and paying invoices can be made very productive and efficient through EDI. The second benefit is that these electronic links with suppliers allows Walmart a high degree of control and coordination in the scheduling and receiving of product deliveries. This helps to ensure a steady flow of the right products at the right time, delivered to the right DCs by all Walmart suppliers. Walmart shares inventory data with suppliers to maintain better stock levels. Suppliers use this data to form more accurate forecasts and prepare more effectively to meet the retail giant's needs. The relationship between Walmart and Procter & Gamble is a great example of how the company has been able to leverage data sharing to create efficiencies. Walmart has set up an automated reordering system that uses satellite communication to tell P&G's portfolio of companies when an item is needed. The item is then delivered to a distribution center or the store in need. Walmart deals directly with manufacturers without any need for a supply chain middleman. As the world's second largest retailer, the company wields enormous bargaining power and can demand lower wholesale prices from suppliers. These savings are then passed on to customers as part of Walmart's everyday low price guarantee. Walmart makes up for its low prices and smaller margins with its sheer volume of sales. The company has strict policies in place to ensure suppliers deliver in full on time, charging vendors 3% of the cost of goods if deliveries aren't made as expected. Everyday low prices are a way of doing two things. The first thing is to tell its price-conscious customers that they will always get the best price, they need not look elsewhere or wait for special sales. The effect of this message to customers helps Walmart do the second thing. And the second thing is to accurately forecast product sales. Sales and other events designed to sway customer purchasing tend to make demand forecasting much more difficult, and this affects supply chain planning. By eliminating special sales and assuring customers of low prices, it smooths out demand swings making demand more steady and predictable. 
so stores are more likely to have what customers want when they want it. The big box store format allows Walmart to combine a store and a warehouse in a single facility and get great operating efficiencies from doing so. The big box is big enough to hold large amounts of inventory like a warehouse. And since this inventory is being held at the same location where the customer buys it, there is no delay or cost that would otherwise be associated with moving products from warehouse to store. Again, these savings are passed along to the customer. Cross-docking is a logistics practice that is the centerpiece of Walmart's strategy to replenish inventory efficiently. It means the direct transfer of products from inbound or outbound truck trailers without the need for extra storage, by unloading items from an incoming semi-trailer truck or railroad car, and loading these materials directly into outbound trucks, trailers, or rail cars and vice versa, with no storage in between. Suppliers have been delivering products to Walmart's distribution centers, where the product is cross-docked and then delivered to Walmart stores. Cross-docking keeps inventory and transportation costs down, reduces transportation time, and eliminates inefficiencies. Walmart has a long history of leveraging technology to improve operations. In 2015, the company spent a reported $10.5 billion on information technology, and has also invested significantly in improving their e-commerce capability. Some of the technology implemented in recent years includes RFID tracking, smart tags that allow store employees to better track inventory, a centralized database that houses all inventory information, Retail Link Database to improve communication with suppliers and forecasting. My Productivity App for store managers to minimize backroom tasks. Innovative patent filings including smart shopping carts, electronic imaging devices that sense when inventory levels are dropping, and in-store customer assistance drones. Thank you everyone for watching this content. I hope you like this video. Then please give this video a thumbs up and share this video with your friends. That would mean a lot to me. And do not forget to hit the subscribe button and subscribe the channel. For more such interesting and engaging case studies on strategies used by various organizations across the world.